Welcome to Dungeon of the Endless, a game by Amplitude Studios. You may know them for their other, in air quotes, endless games such as Endless Legend and Endless Space. It's nice when companies actually have some sort of kind of like continuation through their names that isn't just Endless 1, Endless 2, Endless 3, or 3 Endless. It's nice. I like that. So, going through all of the info stuff before we actually get into the game, Dungeon of the Endless is a roguelike slash tower defense slash exploration e style game that sees you trying to get through 12 floors to the surface. This is called success and is victory. Scattered around uh, between you and your victory is death. Lots and lots of death. There are many, many ways to die in this game. All of them involve death. It's fun. Around the death, if you actually are that lucky, you may find that there's bits of things that you can do, such as items, heroes, ships, and of course the dungeon itself. So, you start on the spaceship success. As you saw, it exploded, and your escape pod is now hurtling towards the planet's surface. You have four hero slots that you'll get you pick two heroes to start with. Your difficulties are too easy and easy. It's a sign of things to come. You can see that I've already encountered the hero Krayang, however, I have not completed the goals required to actually get him as an unlockable at the start. So we have Max O'Kane, Sarah Numus, Gork the Butcher Caruza, and Nurse Dina Ratchet. Each of these heroes has their own little stats you can see, health points, move speed, damage per second, and the size of the bonus provided by your hero when manipulating or repairing a module. Mm. So let's go with Gork. And we'll also go with uh, Dina as well. How do I... There we go. Let's go with Gork and Dina. Now you can actually change this ship if you unlock them. And then you get things like hard mode. Cannot pause game, stronger monsters. Resources are less common. Heal here is more expensive. Monsters rack when you research new modules. And this is the only one we have unlocked to start with. The escape pod. So this will be the one that we're using. There is a random hero button. If you so choose. In case you don't actually want to take these. You can go random. Like so. But no. We want... Gork and Dina. So the game came out of early access yesterday and with it it brought things like multiplayer improvements, multiplayer and then in brackets improvements, training cards, achievements, new ships, new items, new balance set stuff and it's always nice when games finally get out of early access rather than being stuck in that kind of early access hell sort of thing. So I thought I would take a look. Now, here are our two intrepid journeyers, or one intrepid journeyer because Gork is sleeping. Get up. Right. This is our power crystal. Find the exit before taking the crystal. The goal is to find the exit by exploring rooms. Doing so like this. Or if I scroll out, you can see this. Rooms are filled with things. There may be merchants, treasure, enemies, and other stuff that I have yet to encounter. You can see up the top here we have resources. We have our industry, our science, our food, and our dust. Industry allows us to build things such as our majors and our miners. Science is for researching. Food is for healing and doing other stuff. You can use it to recruit and level up your heroes as well. and. You'll also get merchants that will buy in different currencies depending on what they're selling. The goal is to find the exit and get our crystal to it. The game works on a kind of turn-based system as well. So every time we open a door, monsters will spawn in dark rooms. Well, have a chance to spawn in dark rooms. And we'll also get more resources. We can light rooms up by middle clicking on them. And this will prevent stuff from spawning there. So uh, let's go ahead and build some stuff as we explore. Now, putting some miners down in here will be good. So the only thing we have at the moment is a prisoner prod. Deals low damage to enemies in the room. Priority target is anti-hero monsters. So 
win the two of those. Now you can't actually control your heroes per se, but you can send them between rooms. So you'll see the like nurse lady. Let's find out her name. Dina. I'll remember you, Dina. I swear, I'll remember you. I, I cannot send her anywhere else in this room, but I can send her down to this room. I can send her up to this room. Now, let's go and have a wander and see what we can find. The mighty Gork. Wandering into a room, and he finds pain. Gork is a beast. Look at this guy, taking no damage. Let's have a look at his stats. So he has 590 HP, 19 defense, the defense capability of hero, ability to absorb damage. He has speed, 18, DPS, 41, attack power, 41, attack cooldown, 1, and wit. The size of the bonus provided by your hero when manipulating or repairing a module. Ooh. Can you... How do you how do you manipulate modules? This I don't know. This must be something that's like going to come later. So I can't seem to find any way to get Dina to see. I remembered your name. To get her to be able to handle a module. All right, we don't want anything spawning in there, so we'll power that up. Now this bar at the top is how many rooms you can actually power. So you'll see I've got three out of four that I currently can hold, and the dust will allow me to power more. Where are we going? Gork, go up. Gork, smash. Yeah. There was something on your face. It was pain. So we'll light that room up as well. And then we'll go and have an explore in this little side room here. Hopefully there's nothing bad here. Gork is here, time to die! Ah, Gork has found the research crystal. So, we have the ability to build new modules. It will take three open rooms to allow us to get these. That's 30 defense to heroes in the same room. Let's say defense to NPCs in the same room. Tactical HUD, it's 18% attack power to all heroes on this floor. A Tesla model, which is medium damage, or a viral injector. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and build a science creator. It's going to create science, but it cannot do your math homework. And Gork will mightily step forward through a door into the next room. And he'll find what appears to be a table filled with food. Alright. I'm happy with this. Gork, how much do I need for you to level up? 25, alright. I'm going to level up Gork. As he seems to be our big, strong, awesome tank. I wonder what the other female's like. Like, this one's a nurse, like, she's, she's not got that kind of, like, big, strong tank frontliner, but there was two, so I'm hoping there is one. Like, it's all well and good having Gork, but I hope that there's a female counterpart to Gork. Oh no, I didn't want to open that door. Well, let's turn on some lights. Gork is just cleaning house. Are we still good? We don't have anything coming down to our crystal. No, we are good. Okay. Dina. Go and... What we do? What's viral injector? Spreads disease, not social media alerts. <laughs> Damage over time. Priority target special. Poison duration 8 seconds. 22 HP a second. That's pretty good for distant rooms that they'll be passing through. Yeah, okay. We'll go for that. What are we doing? Right, okay. This appears to be a dead end. Don't have enough to power it. 
Okay, so what we'll do is we will fill this room full of death and this room full of death and then that should hopefully protect us from anything that's going to come through there. Onward Gork. Gork the mighty. Gork the strong. Gork the intellectually challenged. You have found a self-powered room. Hmm. Could be quite handy. So there's the exit. What else have we got? The viral injectors unlocked. You know, do you have a... Your passive skill is defense when grouped with others they trust and scamper. The monsters don't slow down the hero. Oh god. Kill that thing. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so if this is a self-powered room, when I pull the crystal out, it should stay powered and stuff then? Oh god! That's a lot of stuff. Gorg, pull back. Gorg, protect yourself. Protect thy face. Okay, let's open... Turn on the light quickly in there before we walk into this room. We should have enough food to now level him up. Yeah! Soylent Green, food plus 0.2 by killed monsters, is probably edible if you hold your nose. No! Dina died! No! Oh, let the tears flow. Gork, what were you doing? Dina, I will always remember you. No. This now means that Gork has to pick up and carry the crystal on his own, with no cover. Well, shit. The last door of the current floor of the dungeon just opened. There's something in that room. How do I... Can he shoot while he has this thing? Can he do anything while he has this thing? I'm guessing not. I'm guessing while he holds the crystal he can't do jack all. No, he's not firing or anything. And I have no food to be able to like, heal him. Oh god. Gork! This is all your fault! Oh, Gork is dead. Down goes Gork. Oh, Gork, what are you doing? God damn it, Gork. I trusted you. I trusted you and you betrayed me. So, you can see... How many attempts you've had, how many wins you've successfully had, doors opened, heroes hired and heroes lost. You have an album, which for me doesn't have anything in by the looks of things. Oh no, no, it does. I, I have some pictures in my album. You, you can see where they're meant to be as well. I have a journal as well, which shows all my failures. So I just want to check the other last that's with Dina. Sarah Numis. High movement speed. Damage per second is not bad. It's the second highest by the looks of things. It's not as high as Gorks. Hmm. But she is the fastest 
by quite a way. She's also a bounty hunter. That's quite cool. So she'll probably get quite strong. I, I'm I'm happy with this. I want more, but I'm happy with this. So there you go. Dungeon of the Endless is a game that I could see myself throwing 20 minutes at here and there, or I could end up just sinking three hours into it. It's one of those kind of games where you could pick it up uh, during your lunch and just kind of play a, a floor or two, or an attempt or two. But it also has the ability for you to actually sit there and put in a good amount of time. It's currently £10 on Steam. There's two versions. There's one for £10 and one for 15 The 15 one, you get some extra stuff in the game that you have to unlock, just in case you think it's there at the start. And you also get a voucher, I believe, for Endless Space, um, the, the expansion for it, the £8 expansion. You get that for 50% off. And there's also some stuff as well for Endless Legend. I like the fact that it, they reward people in their other games, even though they're a bit of a different genre, like space, fantasy, and now this. It's quite cool. So there you go. This was my failed attempt at Dungeon of the Endless. God damn you, Gork. If you have any questions, queries, or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. If you like what we do, then hit the like button and subscribe. And if you hate what we do, then leave a comment and tell us why so that we can either get better or tell you to get good. From myself and everyone else at LT3, we will catch you for the next video. And my final words are, God damn you, Gork. <laughs>